Good morning, my name is Gloria. Um, today I wanted to share with you uh, kind of a yarn unboxing mystery haul of sorts from one of my favorite uh, local yarn stores. Um, although it's not quite local, it is still in Ontario, Canada. Uh, so the store is called Cambridge Fibers Limited um, and they do a lot of a wide variety of different yarns. Um, I found them through Instagram and Facebook. So a while back, you know, at the beginning of the pandemic, you know, kind of like buying yarn to like try to support local businesses. Um, and then, you know, also because you're at home and you're trying to do different hobbies. Um, so when I first purchased from them, um, they had, they do a lot of these kind of bulk deals occasionally. So they'll say like, hey, here's like a mystery bag or box and like, you know, 80 bucks will include shipping or like here you can have maybe a bunch of wool blends or mystery acrylics. Um, and then they'll kind of round it, nice round number like 40, 50 bucks will include shipping within Ontario or Canada and see what you get. So I tried it for a couple things. The first one was actually kind of a known box. They had a lot of these baby softy yarns. Um, and when I purchased it, I was, I think I was still pregnant or maybe I had just given birth or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need baby yarns to make things for my little one. So I'll show you what I got. Um, so actually I got a total of 12 of these little Bernat softy baby stripes. So let me show you all of them. These are the first three. So I have a boy, so I have a lot of blue green colors, but you know what really, gender doesn't really have a color. So it also came with all these like really vibrant pink, red, yellows, um, which I think are actually still really cute for a boy. I don't, I don't really like necessarily need blue only or pink only or whatever. So I got all 12. I don't know if you can see all this. I'm trying out my GoPro again and I'm not sure about the the, the view, etc. Maybe you can't see me, that's okay. Um, so I got all 12 of these for 60 Canadian dollars with shipping. Um, that's tax included as well. Uh, so if you notice, these ones are kind of a little bit sad. I did try to make my baby a small baby hat um, earlier on. I tried this like new technique and I don't have the hat right now because I packed it away already. Um, I tried this weird like inside out hat technique so that you could like flip it inside and then wear it with like a dark blue stripe and a light blue stripe one way. And then the other side would be a light blue stripe and a green stripe that way. Uh, it didn't work so well because it didn't have any ribbing. And also like by the time I finished it, my baby had like grown. It was like when he was, I don't know, only a few months old. And so his hair grew so fast and he only wore it for like a month or two before he had to switch to another hat. But anyways, I thought this was a really great deal. So if you kind of just divide out, you know, that's about $5 Canadian per ball, but like that doesn't really even include shipping. So if you just knock out like, you know, say $12 for shipping, that's $48 over 12 of these. So that's like four bucks a ball, which is a pretty good deal, I think, because uh, I think Michael sells it for much more. And even if you use all those coupons, you know, you gotta go in like 12 times to like use a coupon every single time to buy something from Michael's, which is, Kind of absurd, they kind of frown upon you on doing that. I used to do that. Anyways, let me tell you about this yarn. So it's Yarnspirations Burnett Softy Baby Stripes. Um, it is a size three light yarn and it is machine washable and dryable. It is 100% acrylic, but it's actually really soft. Like um, I've definitely tried a lot of different acrylic yarns and you know some, some are better than others. This one I found when I was knitting it, it didn't pill at all, which was nice. Cause you know, if you're washing it and drying it a lot, like. Um, it can like kind of wear out over time. It's extremely soft. When I knitted it up, it was very stripe based. So I'm thinking like, I was thinking about making another sweater for my, for my son. Um, and then if I would do that, I would actually pick something like a pattern that was quite plain, like maybe like the flax sweater from Tin Can Knits or just some other like stock knit raglan uh, top down sweater. Um, because that, that would really show off the stripe pattern a little more. If you have some really loud, some really loud patterns, like say if you have cables or you got something else going on, then um, I feel like some of that pattern might get lost because you're like focused on the stripes or the stripe might hide it because there's just a lot going on. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that for this Christmas, but I won't start until fall because A, it's really hot right now. And two, if I start right now, he's gonna like outgrow up by the time it's December. So um, hopefully we'll see something like that later in the fall. And I've, of course I will share it with you if I do make that. Um, sorry, I wasn't finished reading the ball band. Okay, each one of these is 120 grams of yarn or 4.2 ounces, and that's about 287 yards or 262 meters. So when I tried to make my hat, um, I was just freehanding it and I used about, I would say not even half, maybe half of one ball, right? So like I'm thinking a sweater for his size, he'll be like, 
18 between 18 months and 24 months by by the fall and so i'm thinking i might use up at most two of these and this one at most um so i mean obviously i'll let you know and see what what the yardages actually end up to be um so yeah i think this is a great deal i haven't thought of, i think i'm going to stick with the blues mostly for now and then we'll see what i can do with these really bright ones i mean if he gets a little older and he's like oh i don't want pink mom because all girls wear pink whoops if he's like that, well, I'll tell him that gender is not a color. And the other thing is what I can do is because these are such like bold stripes, I think what I could do is I could just, when I'm unwinding it, just cut out the pink and then just reattach it like to the next one. So maybe you could do like for this one, um, I don't know if you can see, start with the red and then go outwards. So like just ignore the middle part. Start with the red, go outwards, the yellow, and then attach the yellow to like, you know this yellow and then go in until the pink and then stop again or like go yellow to red and then go in again so i mean there's a lot of options like in terms of color striping palettes um again this is probably also very self-striping but like very bold thick stripes um so i think it'd be really great for kids things and yeah so just stick to what i like to do for these ones because they are so solid color you just stick to like a simpler pattern and then just kind of let the yarn be the fun part versus like a yarn and a texture so that's the first thing that I bought, these mystery bulk, bulk bundle boxes, which is great because um, if you are gonna make a sweater quantity of something anyways, or you're gonna need a lot to like even make a baby blanket or something, then like you're gonna have to buy this many anyway, so you might as well get a deal. So that's how I feel about it. I'll put that aside for now. That's okay. Okay, then the second one is, I think they had another baby Black Friday deal. Uh, I remember there was another time where they have these, you know, like alerts on Instagram or on Facebook. And they say like, hey, get a mystery box if you want wool, some wool in it, or if you want like, whoa, sorry, wool blends or like acrylic only. Um, so the difference is, I guess, wool is general, wool based yarns or wool blended yarns are a little bit more expensive than acrylic. Um, just because the fiber content is a little bit more expensive. I find that wool is a little bit heavier per, per gram or per ounce. Um, so I thought I would give it a try as a mystery box like, mystery box and I've already unboxed it so this isn't the unboxing like I'm discovering it um this is kind of like it's already in my stash but I just want to talk about it so for this this box I think it was $40 40 Canadian dollars including tax including shipping um so I'll show you what is included in it okay first I have two two of these chic sheep that's very hard to say chic sheep balls um so let me tell you about this kind of complementary colors so I definitely think that there's enough here to make a scarf or a cow for sure. Probably not a sweater unless it's for my kid. Um, I don't know. I probably could do it. We'll see. I don't know about wool though because it's just like it may not be as machine washable even if it says it's machine washable. I just don't want to take any chances putting all that work and then like you wash it and then it shrinks or something and that'd be really sad. So Chic Sheep by Red Heart um, and it's also like I guess Marley Bird. She is a very prominent crocheter. Uh, she runs a blog, she has lots of free patterns, so definitely I guess this is like a partnership with them. So this yarn says it's 100% wool, it's a size 4 medium. It does say machine wash a bowl, but machine wash cold, gentle cycle, dry flat, which is kind of like blocking. Don't iron or professionally dry clean. Okay, like I have time for that. Um, there's more information on the ball band if you want to check it out online. And this color I believe is... Okay, on the label it says sunset, but it's actually crossed out. So it says sweet, S-U-I-T-E. I don't know if that means it's not sunset. I guess it's not a sunset, this is blue. This is not what I would think of as sunset. So it's very interesting. It has definitely like a worsted weight feel, several ply construction. It looks kind of bouncy. I love the color. It is a fun color, young color. So that's cool. Anyways, this one, same, obviously otherwise same. Oh, but this one has a sticker. It's written in royal, so maybe they, Maybe this one didn't have a label and now they just stuck a label on it. This one's royal. This looks like a royal color to me, right? Jewel, jewel toned. So I love jewel tones and I love purple. So I think these will be good together. Maybe I could try a color work scarf um, uh, to try that or another nice texture. If I can get one project out of here. Oh, sorry. I didn't actually say how much yards there are. How many yards are there? Do, 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 do. Wait, I actually don't see any yardage. Maybe I am just blind. Okay, 3.5 ounce, 100 grams, um, and it's 186 yards or 170 meters. There is a little bit of a recommended project. 
Um, but yeah, I also already see like this, like sometimes they, like the mill ends or something potentially could have like these knots and then we just tie a knot to get to get a longer piece of yarn. Um, so yeah, 186 yards, probably, probably not enough for a scarf like one on its own, maybe okay for like a short cowl scarf that's like really close to your neck or a hat for sure. Um, but two of them might be able to do a decent scarf depending on what kind of stitches you use, depending on if you're gonna use, uh, if you're gonna knit it or crochet it. Um, so I think it'll be interesting to see. Hopefully I can have projects as you use something with it and show you later. Okay, so that's the first bit. Uh, the next one is this goldenrod rustic color yarn. This is a single, single ply. It's kind of loosely spun. I don't know if you can see that on the GoPro. Um, it's very like mm, hairy. I want to say hairy is kind of lame. Okay, so it says it's called Filica. Um, it's alpaca wool, so it's about 22% wool, 60% polyester maybe, 10% alpaca. I'm actually making these up. If you see the label, it says 22% WO, 60% PC, 10% PA, and 8% W. So I actually don't know what this means. I was just making it up. I don't know. Alpaca maybe is PA for 10%. Um, yeah, it's very soft though. Very rustic, rustic-y. And this is the same. I assume they're the same dye lot. They look pretty similar. I've never heard of Felica. So maybe it's one of those like off-brand European Turkish wool blends. So this is fun. Um, I don't think I would ever pick this up in the store and be like, hmm, I would love to make something with this in terms of a golden raw color because I always go for like purple and gray. Those are like my color palette. Um, but on second thought, when I see this, like it definitely reminds me of like fall, a lot of like really chunky knits. Um, I have no idea how many yards this is. I couldn't even estimate it because I've never used this before or have a similar yarn. Um, but there would definitely be enough for a scarf and or hat. Maybe you could do a cowl and a hat set if you knit it all. If you crochet it, we'll see because crochet does, I'm not as good as estimating with crochet. Uh, and then because I find that like with really thick yarns like this, uh, crochet makes it really dense because like each stitch is kind of like double stitch, if you know what I mean, um, compared to knitting. So that's why crochet usually takes about 30% more yarn than uh, the same knitted garment or item. So I did see a lot of really good textured cowls in Ravelry recently. Um, and I also saw some like those like headbands. So headbands I think are a really good stash buster, and especially if you make one that's like really wide, it can cover your ears in the winter. So like, even if you have your hair up in a bun or a ponytail, you can put a headband on. Um, and it will mess up your hair, but then I guess your like part of your head will still get cold. So I don't know some people like it It's a fashion thing. Um, this would be really good I think if you have like cables or other like texture knitting This is when you can really show off like bobbles or stuff because because like the yarn is solid colored, right? You're just like, okay now you can really see whatever texture you have pop. So I I will see what this does. Um, I'm definitely thinking a cowl. I just, it's just like for a scarf, I like my scarves to be a certain length. And if I don't know how much yardage there is, um, it's like really hesitant for me to do something with that. Cause I don't want to go all the way there and then like, you know, have like a really short scarf or something. And then maybe it's like, I don't make the scarf wide enough. And then you can't like just attach it at the end and make a cowl. So it's kind of just that awkward thing. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll try to just do two smaller projects for sure. Like if I do, oh, I do a cowl and then I make that and it'll be like, okay, I know how much that is. And then maybe at the end, um, we could see if I can make a hat out of it. So for sure, like, I feel like between those two items, you should be able to get out of these two balls. They, take, they weigh about like, I don't know, it doesn't say how much it weighs either. It feels like maybe about a hundred grams, maybe about a hundred grams. So maybe you could find some bulky equivalent of it. If you think you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, I don't know if you can see all this, but we have this four balls so far. Okay, the next item is these two and this is, she helpfully put a little label on here, it says 80 grams, it is 2% wool, 270 yards each. It's called Sugar Spun by Loops and Threads. Oh, it's a Michaels yarn. Uh, so I have a whole video on Michaels yarns, hopefully also uploaded by this time. I've never used Sugar Spun, uh, but I do like trying different Loops and Threads yarns, but only when they're on clearance. So they're like $4.97 or like $3.99 and then I'll buy a bunch of it and then be like, oh, I love this. And then it's on clearance. So like, there's no more. <laughs> so it's like you're all in or you're not. 
Um, so this yarn is actually like looks like a very chainette type of construction. I'm not sure if you can see it from here. Um, it's a very like beigey color, but like a hint of rose. So I think it's a very modern color to me. Um, I like it. I like it's very soft. It's very like plushy. And if you know if you get 270 yards each, um, even though it's like a chainette construction, I think that's pretty generous. So that's 500 yards. So for sure, I'm pretty sure you could get a scarf out of the, these two together, which I think would be very soft. Um, so I think that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. We'll see what it is. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if you noticed, but like in my previous videos, I do a lot of sweaters and it's not that I don't love scarves and shawls. I do a lot of, I used to do only like scarves and shawls, like only non-sized items, but I'm trying to like branch more into like gauge and like sizing and stuff like that to just to mix it up, um, learn something new. Otherwise you're knitting the same few rectangles over and over again. And that's like, that's, that's fine, but it can be boring. So anyways, this one I'm thinking, they do look roughly the same die a lot. I think we can just roll the dice and hopefully that is. Unless this thing means it says, no, it definitely says 270 grams each. Um, it does look like it's kind of like unwound a bit. So I'll probably estimate a little bit less, maybe say like, okay, I have 250 50 yards, um, just in case there's like a little bit missing and we don't know because there's no label, which is fine. Um, so yeah, I, I don't even know how much this is regular price. Maybe this is also gonna discontinued if you let me know for Sugar Spun by Loops and Threads. Uh, and I don't know what color this is, but I'm going to call it Beige Rose. Which I'm not allowed to name names. Okay, the last piece. So if you keep tracking so far, we got blue and purple, we got this golden raw rust, we got sugar spun. And then the last thing is this giant egg of this <laughs> multicolored yarn, which I also don't know what this is. It, maybe it's another loops and thread. This says it's 225 grams. It's 15% wool. I'm assuming the rest is acrylic. Um, that is all I know about this yarn. It is a single ply construction, so it looks like there's a lot of different um, yarns, like different fibers. And instead of like, instead of like each fiber being spun together, like like pink, they say there's pink, white, and green or something, right? Instead of each one being like spun around itself and then twisted into another yarn, kind of like this one. This is like a multiply yarn, right? You can untwist it. A little bit and then you see like oh there's like four pieces of yarn that's like twisted together just like the anti-twist um this one is just all twisted together it's just like i have my pink i have my yellow and then i'm just gonna like spin them together and that's how i get these like more marled looks of yarn so this is like a pink a gray a white and a turquoisey green um thing and there's no information about the yardage other than the fact that it's 225 grams and 15% of it is wool. So I would definitely, just looking at it, I would probably classify it as a bulky. Probably is enough for a scarf again, if you use like a really big uh, knitting needle and then try to just like build it as fast as possible. That's what I would try to do. This might be a, another scarf or a scarf and a hat or multiple hats, you know, like nothing stopping you from having multiple hats and like matching with everybody. Um, personally with hats, um, I'm not the hugest fan of hats just because you got to do a gauge swatch and the hat is not a big item, but you really should do a gauge swatch. Otherwise your hat will be like too big or too small, which has pretty much happened to me for like every single hat. Um, so uh, because this is variegated, but I don't know like how it's going to be worked up. It looks like it might stripe a bit. Like you'll have, see like there's bits of white and then it'll be like white and pink maybe. And then it'll be like pink and then it'll be pink and gray, and then it'll be gray, something like that. Like, I think it'll be more of that kind of stripey merled look. So I might be able to get away with using a more textured stitch instead of like the stripey stitch, your plain stitches for stripey items. Um, so I guess we'll see. It also depends on obviously like how wide your project is to see if you're gonna get any like weird color pooling. So I think I'm definitely gonna have to swatch this. If I swatch it, I might as well test the gauge, and then I might as well make hats for something um, just to see how the color would work. So yeah, I got all of this. So this one, these ones, these ones, and these ones, all for $40 Canadian, including tax. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that if you are adventurous and you know, just have no qualms about things, or if you have specific 
maybe specific yarn brands that you're looking for that are discontinued, you might as well like message them and see what they got in stock. You can also visit them in store. Now Ontario has like recently lifted some lockdown restrictions, so you can definitely visit them in store um, in Cambridge, Ontario. I haven't personally gone there yet. Um, it is a little bit far from us here in Ottawa, but you know, say you are in the area, you might as well go check them out. Um, so yeah, I really like them and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully there'll be another one soon to show you what I've made with some of this. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a great day and you know, shop your stash, see what you got. All right, have a good one. Oh, and also if you have any questions or whatever, you're supposed to like, comment and subscribe. Um, that's what all the YouTubers say. Well, thanks very much. Bye.